Hello and welcome to a special one-off interview special in which we've given ourselves the week off and have instead convinced a chain of big-name game developers to put questions to each other. <sighs> Get these away from me. So, spanning several months, three continents and a hat full of chart-topping titles, take it away, international men of games. Ah, and there are my questions. <laughs> Sucker on that punch. That doesn't make any sense. Why would I say that? <laughs> to kick things off, we began our chain in Germany with Crytek's Sten Hubler. Here he is, stoically and silently crafting a clutch of intellectual questions for Brink's lead writer, Ed Stern. Be careful with those questions, Ed. They crossed the wilds of Europe to reach you. Hey, Ed. During the last weeks, assuming you have to crunch a lot as well, what kind of food did you have to eat? There's so much that you can't stand it anymore. I really, really try not to, to no, try the no pizza rule, which I nearly stuck to, despite appearances I tried to stick to. Uh, but I don't, I'll eat healthily. That was two years ago, I was approximately half the width I am now. What is your nickname in Brink so I can find you there and have a play? Or in Crisis 2 multiplayer if you dare. Herr Hubler? You're on. Um, Actually, we put our names in Brink, because uh, uh, if, if you don't have enough players you want to play it offline, there's AI players, and we populated those lists with, with, with names, so we're in there. So occasionally I find myself being killed by myself, which is a bit of a message there for all of us. What is the it of Brink? What makes it stand out from other games and makes it special? We wanted to give players as many th new things they couldn't do in any other game. So we wanted it to look completely different, to play different. We've got the smart movement system that makes it as much fun to move around as it is to shoot. We've got the RPG depth of uh, abilities that mean you can always unlock new things and play things in different ways. We've got this MMORPG depth of characterization so you can look as ridiculous or as, or as, as hardcore as you want to do. I don't think there's only one thing. I think there's a combination of things that you can't do in any other game. Um, so yes, there's no one single thing. It just offers you a lot of other things. And also it's just fun. Now it's Ed's turn to write some questions for Double Fine Boss and game legend Tim Schafer. Careful does it. I'm scared. Okay. I was in this. And the winner is... Wait, this is an award. Do you have a sense of the audience for your games? Has it changed over time? And do you write with any player slash reader specifically in mind? I, through the magic of the internet, have been very personally in touch with uh, some of our fans. They're a small but deeply uh, twisted following, you know, of these games. They're really, um, we have great fans in that they, uh, they're, they're self up in the costumes, they create Christmas ornaments based on the characters, you know, they're just they're really dedicated, um, really creative fans. How are the aromas of game development changed over time? Aromas? Now reach over and touch Ron Gilbert with your hand. Just touch him. Now smell your hand. <laughs> what childhood memory does it evoke? Ron usually smells, as usual, like uh, um, cocoa butter because he's really into tanning. He's really kind of a beach nut and he's always wearing uh, all sorts of various, also his a um, self-tanning spray that he uses it creates a very specific odor. <laughs> you have a chance to re-roll your developer character stats. Which dev skills would you change? Well, I wouldn't change anything. Why would I change one of my stats? I mean, I'm already maxed out on charisma. You know, I would maybe add some to... Obviously, personal strength is a very high one, so I don't know if I would be willing to give any of that up. Here you go. Finally, we tracked down Infamous 2's nano-bearded designer, Darren Bridges, and unleashed Tim Schafer's mind on him. Good luck with that, Darren. Have you ever gotten scary Sly Cooper fan art from a furry? We get lots of fan art. Actually, some really good stuff. The six-year-olds uh, give really good fan art, so that's fun. Uh, but yeah, nothing, uh, nothing I can talk about. Uh, if you found out a developer friend hadn't played Infamous yet, would you be mad? Yeah, I would. Would you tell that friend that they should go back and play Infamous 1 or just jump right into 2? Yeah, they should play 1. I mean, if you play 2, it's great, uh, but play both. That's my recommendation. Bonus question. If that developer friend had drawn some furry fan art of his own, would you like to see it? Uh, okay, Tim, if you have art you want to send me, that's great. I would love to see it, but only from you. Thanks, chaps. Now, if we could only get them to write scripts, edit videos, do this talky bit I'm doing, then we'd really be in business.